What's going on, guys? Turnity Gaming here, and today I'm gonna be going uh, showing you guys my uh, Japanese card collection. Uh, one of my uh, subscribers wanted to see what I have, so here it is. Um, but it's not really that big of a collection. It's really just cards I've kept that I decided to keep and not to sell. Because uh, whenever I get a box, whether it's English or Japanese, eh, I usually do sell most of it. So it's not really too much of a collection, but uh, it's still nice. I think it's nice. It's good variety of cards. Um, so yeah, let's get on to it. Uh, most of these cards are from like the Rarity Collection or the Yugi Moto, uh, Yugi, um, Yami Yugi, uh, 50th, 50th Anniversary Box, so, so here's the first page, uh, one of my personal favorite pages, it's just like a really old school, uh, cards, um, so, we got the three, um, main, um, boss monsters, or not boss monsters, um, what's the word, um, I can't really think of the word right now, but th the three main monsters that the three, uh, protagonists, um, use in the original Yu-Gi-Oh, we got Dark Magician for Yugi, Blue Eyes White Dragon for Kaiba, and Red Eyes Black Dragon, my favorite dragon, from, uh, Joey. Then we got Dark Magician Girl, Holographic Rare, uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon, uh, Dark Paladin, uh, the original artwork, or it's like a promo artwork, but uh, there was like an error or something, and uh, Magician's a few of the original uh, prints for Magician's Force actually had this one instead of the other one. Then we got Obelisk, a Tormentor, uh, Slipher the Sky Dragon, and the Wing Dragon of Raw. We'll just, uh, yeah, these are pretty much like the main cards the original Yu Gi Oh! used, or the original Yu Gi Oh! characters used. And this two uh, pages are like a bunch of Yugi cards. So we got a uh, Dark Magician, uh, Dark Magician Girl, the uh, Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl uh, Quick Play spell card. Don't know what it's called. Uh, Summon Skull, Cut the Guardian, uh, Magician's Valkyrie, uh, some Hope. I think it's called Hope or something like that. It's like all four of the characters. Uh, uh, before Yugi uh, duels Kaibo to make like a smiley face or whatever. Um, another Dark Magician spell card, Monster Reborn. Uh, Dark Magician, I got this Dark Magician card, which then makes this one, which is Dark Magician Knight. Uh, Dark Magician Girl, Dark Magician Girl spell card, Dark Magician, just a bunch of Dark Magician stuff. Uh, three Dark Magician trap cards, I don't know what it's called. Um, yeah, it's three trap cards. Got two crush card virus, um, ring of destruction, another red eyes black dragon secret rare, dark master dark, uh, not dark, a dragon master knight, uh, anime version of polymerization, uh, slifer the sky dragon, red eyes by dragon, obelisk and the hieroglyphic, uh, hieroglyphic uh, rarity or can't remember what it's actually called, but uh, yeah. Then we got a uh, Harpy's Pet, not Harpy's Pet, Harpy's Feather Duster. I think this is like the, I think this came in a game promo, this version. It's not the original. Um, Spirit Exchange or something like that. And Sinister Serpent. I believe all of these cards, I'm not sure about this one, but I know Sinister Serpent, Harpy's Feather Duster, Ring of Destruction, and uh, Crush Card Virus are now limited to one in the OCG. So that's probably the reason why they reprinted these, just because they... They came off the ban list. We've got the three new uh, Synchron cards from uh, Synchron Extreme Structure Deck, which I'm pretty sure will come out in TCG um, probably later on this year. Uh, so we go, we move on to the effect monsters. Uh, uh, Rescue Rabbit, Secret Rare, Elemental Hero Prisma, um, Extra Secret Rare, which is kind of like an ultimate rare, but it has like a pattern. Pretty cool. Uh, I would like to see a, a new rarity come eventually. That's even higher than Ghost or something. Uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, Caius the Mega Monarch, uh, Clipport Disc, uh, Zabarg the Mega Monarch, uh, some Infernoid card, I don't know what it's called, uh, Odd Eyes Venom Dragon, uh, Tour Guide, uh, some new Infernoid card from Crossover Souls, uh, a new Pendulum Yang Zing card. Uh, I think this guy is like a Heavy Samurai card, I'm not really sure. Uh, Max C, a Rescue Rabbit, Ghost Soldier Wolf Bark, three Effect Railers, uh, Gold Rare, Super Rare, Common. So I'll do it for the effects. 
Then we got some fusions, got some El Shadal, this guy, I can't pronounce its name. It's like El Shadal Sheik and then whatever. Uh, two El Shadal Windigos, Secret and Super. Runeized Pendulum Dragon, uh, Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon, which is the new fusion from uh, Crossover Souls for Cyber Dragons. Uh, Ritual Beast or Spiritual Beast, uh, Ulti uh, Petalfin or Petalfin. Got three Necros cards and Nefclaus. Um, Nefclaus of Gunnier, Trishula, and Valkyris. And move on to the Synchros. We got Trishula. We got a uh, Clear Wing Dragon, which is an amazing level 7 Synchro. It's really glad. Um, it's really nice to see another level seven synchro come out because there, there isn't really that many that are good. There's another level seven black rose. Of course, black rose is good, but other than that, there really isn't that many level seven synchros that are really that good. We've got jet synchron, uh, stardust warrior, and excel synchron from uh, synchron extreme. TG Hyper Liberian, Formula Synchron, and uh, Bujintai, or Heavy Samurai Bujintai, it's usually one or whatever it's called. I think it's, it's not that Super Bujintai, it's uh, Super Heavy Samurai Suzawano. I don't know why I thought Bujintai, I guess I was thinking of Bujins or something. Uh, next, we got some Xyz, uh, we got some uh, Teller Knight stuff, we got um, Stellar Knight, uh, Delta Rose, Stellar Knight, Triver, and Planetary Knight uh, Polytomos or something like that. The new generic uh, rank 4 uh, Tether Knight monster from Crossover Souls. The new Cyber Dragon Infinity, really amazing card. Uh, I hope these come out in the TCG. Um, on Yu Gi Oh! Wiki, it says that the OCG version contains support cards for Cyber Dragons, but it's, it doesn't say anything about the TCG version. So uh, I don't know, maybe the two new Cyber Dragon cards are uh, exclusive to the OCG. But I could be wrong, I don't know. Uh, number 86, our champion, which was an exclusive for uh, Duelist Alliance, which was quite a while ago. Uh, I believe this is probably going to be reprinted in the next set, which is that uh, World Superstar set, because um, one of the packs, even though I'm not sure if that's how the packs are going to look like, but one of the packs has a Horvick Challenger on the front cover, uh, so maybe you'll see that. Uh, Dark Rebellion Sea Dragon, Castle the Sky Buster, Musketeer. Um, Volvo Chain, uh, Draco Sack, Belgrand, Tacking on Dragon, Ultimate Rare, um, these are all, these are all Ultra, um, Ultimate Rare, um, Alucard, Ghost Trick Alucard, the Volvo Chain Comet, and two Super Cowboys, and we move on to, to the Super Rares, or not Super Rares, Spell Cards. So we got an extra secret summoner's art, uh, Galaxy Cyclone from Crossover Soul, secret super summoner's art, two super tankies, one ultimate uh, Astro Force, super book, super lance, uh, three spell cards from uh, Synchron Extreme, two super vanities, sorry about that, uh, super uh, anti spell fragments, which GCG really does need for a reprint. I think it's only available in a game, which is uh, pretty, much, pretty hard to find, I bet. Uh, Phoenix Chain, Breakthrough Skill, and Compulsory Evacuation Device. A few other traps. We got a Gold Secret Rare, um, Solemn Warning, the Counter uh, Trap Card for Yosenjus, and uh, uh, what's it called? Stardust uh, Iron Statue or something like that from Zikon Extreme. Traps. Then we got an Ultimate Rare, uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End from the Tin. I got some two old school. Metal Raiders cards. We got Barrel Dragon, which is a Revolver Dragon, and Thousand Dragon Ultra Rare, which is pretty funny because Thousand Dragons Ultra Rare and OCD, but Time Wizard Secret, and then it's the other way around in the TCG where uh, Thousand Dragons uh, uh, Thousand Dragon Secret and uh, Time Wizard Ultra. So that's pretty funny how they did that. Um, so these are Korean cards. Just a few, not too many. So we got the three Ar Arcana Dark Magicians, so the dark version of him. The red one, which uh, still hasn't came out in TCG yet. It still hasn't had a print, which is kind of weird. Uh, dark Magician Girl, alternate art. I really do like this one. Uh, dark Paladin, which this is the one that uh, Magician's Force uh, added on once they realized they uh, put the other one in. Uh, dark Magician of Chaos, uh, the ritual version. Uh, two Scrap Dragons, Ulti, and uh, 
Cast Emperor Dragon. And that is it for Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, for a few Pokemon cards. So here's some Pokemon cards. These right here are the ones I got in the pack. The only base set packs and jungle packs and plus these. Uh, the top three are the three Pokemon cards that I had left. Um, probably one of my favorite Pokemon cards. So I got a Team Rocket Blastoise or Dark Blastoise. Um, these two are probably one of my favorite uh, Pokemon artworks of all time. I just really do love the way they look. Um, I really do miss the way the old Pokemon cards used to look like. Um, the new Pokemon cards do look nice. I like the way they pop out, make them look like a 3D effect with the EX and full arts and all that. But uh, yeah, I really do miss the way the old Pokemon cards looked. So, uh, Dark Blastoise. I really do like that card. Uh, Dragonite from Fossil. Uh, Dark Charizard, which is a uh, Team Rocket. Uh, Nine Tails for the deal, like Nine Tails is artwork. I love the background. Base set, Gyarados, base set, uh, Jolteon, jungle, a Needle Queen, jungle, Electro, jungle, Ivysaur, Tarmanian, Squirtle, uh, base, Pikachu base, and uh, Pikachu jungle. So that'll do it for the old school stuff. So I'll move on to the newer stuff, some EX stuff. So this is from Primal Clash, which it's called over here, or Tidal Storm, Gaia Volcano. Um, we got a full art Mega Gardevoir, Gardevoir EX, uh, Primal, Groudon EX, um, Mega Aggron EX, a Camerup EX, a Whale Lord EX, um, Metal Gross EX, Mega Metal Gross EX, which these two are promos. Then we move on to a Phantom Gate, or a Phantom Forces, I think. Uh, full art Gengar. Um, Two Gengar EXs, Florida's EX, two Electric EX, uh, two Team Flare trainer cards, which look really nice because they're red. It's pretty cool. So we've got uh, Rising Fist, which is called Furious Fist, uh, Mega Lucario EX, Holucha EX, Heracross EX, Seismic Toad EX, two Dragonites EX, and then here is Wild Blaze, uh, Charizard EX, Magnezone, Ducks to Croak. These three, I don't even remember how I even got these. Uh, I guess I opened a few packs. These are actually from a reprint, reprint set because at the bottom it says um, EBV. I think it's like an extra battle pack or something. Uh, so I got Mewtwo EX, Zekrom EX, and Rishram EX. And these four are like half arts from uh, Tidal Storm Guy of Volcano. So we've got uh, Swampert, uh, Skeptile, Az Azumaro, and uh, Ex Excadrill. And then we got Hydreigon, my favorite Settle Legendary, uh, Shandalore, Blaze Again, For Alligator, Milotic, or Milotech, and Regigigas. And that is it. Um, I do plan on getting these full eventually, and then we got like three uh, base set packs that I kept, which they look pretty nice. So tell me what you guys think about the binder. I know, like I said before, it's nothing too impressive, not nothing too big, but um, it's pretty good, I guess, in my opinion. So, thank you guys for watching and enjoying this video. Check out my channel for more YouTube videos. Leave a comment down below what do you think, and I'll see you guys later in the next video. Alright, later guys.